And it is of course an official Major League Baseball game but it's so much more than that. It is a celebration of Willie Mays. It's a celebration of the Negro Leagues. We got so many things to look forward to tonight. We really do and these two teams are going to try to play to win a game. No doubt about it. On this night in this stadium we honor the memory of Willie Mays and celebrate the original Negro Leagues players the pioneers. Everybody make some noise. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us here at Rickwood Field, please welcome Ken Griffey Jr., Barry Bonds, and Michael May, son of the legendary Willie Mays. Birmingham, I've been telling you all that if there's any way on earth my father could come down here, that he would. Well, he's found another way. So you already stand to your feet. Let him hear you, he's listening. Make all the noise you can. memories of this place and it was a tremendous blessing to have a gift from God that enabled you to be recognized as a very special night for us for the Giants for the Cardinals for all of Major League Baseball and we are going to actually play a real big league ball game here and the Giants wearing the 1946 San Francisco Sea Lions uniforms come to the play and on the mound for the Cardinals. This is Andre Palante who's gotten a chance with Steven Matz getting hurt. Two up and two down for Palante. Here's Patrick Bailey. Makes this one right side and the first base hit of the game comes from Bailey. Here's Matt Chapman with a runner on the pitch. Chapman bounces one to the left side charging Crawford has it and throws out Chapman. The Crawford handles his first chance at third. Very well done. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Two on with nobody out. Goldschmidt to short. Now, boy, sun ball there for Ahmed, but he was able to make the grab. Here's Nolan Gorman. Boy, has Gorman struggled. Two for his last 28. Cranks this ball in the air to center field. It sends Ramos back, edge of the track. He comes up and makes the grab plenty deep enough to bring home the first run of the game. It's a sacrifice fly for Nolan Gorman to make it one to nothing St. Louis runner at first base but two down Donovan has hit safely in four straight six for his last 18 he's starting to drive in runs again his RBI total is up to 33 here's a high drive to deep right field and Brendan Donovan an Alabama native crushes a home run that goes over the TV set the set that they use for the pregame show and over one of the buildings behind the right field wall a two run shot for Brendan Donovan for his seventh home run. Oh I'd love to see the distance of that one that got out of here in a hurry and just kept going. He is the first Alabama player to play in an American League National League Major League game here at Rickwood Field and how about him going deep. Yeah, again there will be moments in this game that are moments in regular season games that won't have as big a meeting. I guarantee you, you won't forget that home run here at this field. The Giants, a couple of hits now here in the third. And a good chance to get on the board with Elliot Ramos coming up for the second time. This ball's fly the other way by Ramos, carrying pretty well to the wall. And gone! This game is tied as Elliot Ramos sends one the other way in very Willie Mays fashion, smashing a home run to tie it at three. And that ties this game. His 10th home run of the year. And he does a little shimmy around third. Let the beast cook. And that was big boy pop. He's got that elbow pop. He gets it up in the air. Tremendous amount of backspin. And the wind is blowing in right now. Big curveball. Ramos was not fooled. Now the ball is definitely flying a little bit, and there's evidence of that. It's a starting center fielder for the Giants. Maybe their best story this year. Legend has it you have one of the longest home runs here. Yes. Truth. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Babe Ruth hit one over the stands here in right field, and I hit one over the railroad tracks as well. And 
We, I came back here about three years ago when I was doing my documentary. Yep. And one of the people that worked still at the stadium was here, and we walked back. I walked back with the kids that worked worked here and they pointed out where Ruth hit his and they said Reggie you hit one around here somewhere I said well, where Ruth hit his he said right here I said I hit mine a little bit further <laughs> this one pretty far to left center field it is caught by Ramos but plenty deep enough to put the Cardinals back in front as Mason Wynn scores his second run of the night for the runners at second and third that's Burleson and Donovan Carpenter couldn't lay off ball gets by to that backstop that is still not particularly close and Burleson comes in to score. Those ones heard, right? Two outs, wild pitch, 5-3. The breaking ball is so nasty, and you see the break on it, and it just eats up the catcher. Lead off walk, see if the Cardinals can make the Giants pay for that. Swing and a miss from Pajes. And one gone in this fourth. Crawford at first, one away, and 0-2 is a fastball to the outside corner. How about you follow up the two-seamer that moves away with a four-seamer that stays right there at 98? That's a wild pitch. Up to second goes Crawford. Sun coming down here in Birmingham as Crawford dances off of the back too far and wisely tags him out. So Brandon Crawford gets picked off second base. And so we welcome it back here to 1950. 54 television. If you're just tuning in, you haven't lost your mind. We're uh, TV's not broken. TV's not broken. The antennas, the rabbit ears. 6 4 3 double play. Small hit hard to right field. Burleson's going back on it in front of the wall. He's got it. And for fans of modern baseball and the way the game looks these days, we got good news for you. We got color back. With runners at first and second and two away. It's Donovan. Already has two hits tonight. Reaches out and gets to it. Flips it into center field for his third hit of the game. Drives in Burleson. And three for three for the Alabama native. And the Giants on top of all that. They want to actually win the game. And they're down six to three. Wilmer has grounded out twice in this game against Palante. Flores smacks the ball into center field. Siani lays out but can't get there. Runner heads home and will score without a throw. Now the bases are loaded with one out is lifted to left field donovan goes back a few steps now comes forward makes the catch solaire heads for the plate and it's a sacrifice fly the giants are within one time run into scoring position go ahead run aboard and the giants not dead yet there's a swing and a miss and that's the ball game Cardinals over the Giants, 6-5. to five. Man, it started with all the tributes before the game. Gave it a whole Sunday afternoon, a Rick Woodfield vibe to it. The game was excellent, all the visits. We learned so much. Let's continue to learn about the Negro Leagues, about baseball's rich history here at Rick Woodfield in Birmingham, Alabama.